If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code INCEPTION when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Scriniar to take a look at. Uh, guys, with this card, we're taking a look at someone who is six foot two, low high work rates, two star skills, three star weak foot. What is that? What is that? Scoring power header plus. Really? Performs headers with maximum power and accuracy. Huh. We have to somehow get some corner kicks for that because he doesn't have like aerial or anything like that, but he has power header plus. Interesting. Okay. Uh, he has jockey, no anticipate, no block, slide tackle, and bruiser. So a strong player. Interesting. Um, okay. So with this card, we're obviously going to be giving him a shadow chemistry style. Oh, so he does have jumping. Okay, cool. I mean, he does have jumping. So if I give him the shadow chemistry style, I'll be improving the pace of the card. Acceleration's on the lower side, but sprint speed's on the higher side on a lengthy. So can't really go wrong with that. Uh, no shooting capabilities, obviously. Does pass the ball well, which is good. Short passing, long passing in a good area, but has a three-star weak foot. So you definitely have to use him on the right-hand side. Gives you PSG links with the League One. So obviously the country doesn't really matter as much for that, but it's still a plus because the fact that he gives you PSG League One links is a W, but the national links are a little bit harder to work with. So it's good that he kind of, I guess, has that concept to him, right? So chemistry in position, two points, two points, two points. So yeah, uh, defensive stats on a shadow will be in an improved area. And then for physical, again, in a decent spot too. So we basically have to see if we can essentially get like, a corner kick or something or a cross with him to see if we can actually get some power header plus stuff out of him but yeah let's go ahead and unlock the card and i'll show you guys how we line them up okay guys so we're gonna go ahead and apply the um the shadow chemistry saw on, on him just because obviously we need to improve the pace as much as possible uh with this card shadow chemistry saw makes the most sense improve the defensive stats and just see how he defends basically the rest of the team doesn't really matter uh formation doesn't matter it's a defensive review so we're just gonna let people attack against us so yeah, uh, let me just take out the goalkeeper, maybe put in Courtois if I can. Because then I'm losing loans for that for no reason. And the game is glitched. How many times is the menu lag for you guys, huh? Oh my goodness, this game's menus are crazy, bro. They're crazy. All right, um, cool. Let's go try them out, guys. Oh, double? The deflections are crazy, but we did get the initial block there. We'll take it. Leground switch. First time pass actually works. Nicely done. Just have to block that track back. That's what most people go for. I use a little bit of the bruiser to kind of get like more of a... It's like a sprint speed boost, right? The bruiser kind of helps you push forward really nicely and then the ball afterwards, right? I mean, he's offside for that, so we'll definitely take that. That's the type of stuff where you're not using second man press, you're not doing any of that sort of stuff. He's the one that has to put him in an offside position. So we're chilling there. Well, it did look promising, but threat averted. Nice slide challenge, good stuff. That doesn't make any sense. Why would Skriniar not be inside the 18 yard box for uh, the cross? Like, what? I literally have to German cross with him. Like, do this. 
ball roll into the cross and I still can't get it. Oh my goodness. You know what? That's actually like a really crazy animation because right there, I don't use bruiser. I use the tackle button and he kind of like magnetizes to the guy to try to get the ball. So that's actually pretty decent. Slide tackle again. Yeah, as the play style for it, right? So he'll do those ones if you get the opportunity. Yeah, so that was the uh, the manual running with him. So I over overcommitted him like crazy, right? And then obviously the chase after. You have to be very mindful of the um, the overcommitments with the card because of his acceleration not being in the best area. But physical presence seems pretty solid so far when he is defending next to the person. Oh, over commitments because I have to force it it's just to try to get across with him, you know? Oh, he's not going to have the jumping in that situation. No animation there, but he still got the ball, so we'll take it. Almost gets the aggressive tackle there. <laughs> I'm trying to get like a near post, uh, a near post shot for the corners, but I'll take a penalty kick. Why not? And we'll do a bat. We'll do like a rough one. Well, not a rough one. We'll just we'll just go bottom left. Oh, he saves it. Nice try. Let's get the uh, deflection back there. But his marking was good. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Are you not going to be on the corner kicks again? It would be it would be here, around there, and he's at the very top. Okay, this time he's at the very top. He wasn't at the very top before. Yeah, that was Bruiser. So I used Bruiser to push into the interception area, basically. That's what I'm looking for. Please don't leave. I'm gonna go over here. And he's the one at the top. We're gonna go down here like this. And it switches because I put too much. Nice. That's a manual challenge there too. I'll take it. Good interception. Thank you. That's what I'm looking for, man. Gotta see what his headers are like, dude. Oh, what is that? Side challenge? No! Oh, bar D. Oh, bar D. Very nice. No animation from the second man press, but not a lot of players do it. You have to kind of tackle nowadays. Beautiful. That's what I want. That is what I want. Okay, so we got to go with Rodrigo here. 
And then I gotta put way less power, like that. And Skriniar right here. Nothing there. See, that one he has power header, like it actually shows power header. I don't know, dude, that's so weird. Almost gets to it. He's a little, a little bit off. Tracking is good right afterwards. I don't tackle there, so that's my fault. First to get to the ball there, too. Nice. There we go. I just switch to that real quick for the near post. Try the far post now. Far post. Oh, okay. Shoots to the middle. Well weighted pass. Well weighted pass again. Try touch and then all the way at the bottom here. I don't know if it was his player that blocked it or my player. I have no idea. A little bit of body. A little bit. Can't overcommit too much with him, that's for sure. This is like a this is a very aggressive three back formation right now. Kind of test out that kind of stuff. There you go, gotta get the corner kicks here. Okay, so again, L1, cross, switch to Scriniar. Switch down here, get in front, and don't have the jumping there. Maybe on a hawk for the extra jumping could be helpful, potentially, for those situations. I think that was Van Dyke. Van Dyke's do be different in this game. I tried to do like a tackle to actually block it, but I think I had to let the AI do its thing there. So that shot is to the near post. Let me just uh, kick this out real quick. And because I think we have instant replays nowadays, right? Nice. Okay. So let's take a look at this one real quick. That's not what I meant to do. Instant replay. And do this. That's the one. Yeah. So this one is over here. So no, like, you know, what's funny is that maybe if you have block, and it, the ball's in your like general vicinity, like like it is right here. Maybe with like a Kembembe or something, they actually do something. But over here, his animation is like really late for that, and then just goes to the near post. But near post strike in that area is pretty good as well. But I'm curious about that, right? Like with a block, maybe he blocks that, you know? Okay, guys. So final verdict on the Scrinier card. So there is one thing that I want to mention. Uh, generally speaking, I don't know why EA are so allergic to just giving cards like this just the basic anticipate at the very least you know what i'm saying like at the very least an anticipate at the very least a um at the very least like a, like it's a new spc it's a, it's a defender an anticipate would be nice because you don't have possession based challenges they're not that great even with anticipate plus it definitely makes a bigger difference compared to other center backs absolutely but that possession-based challenge is not always good. And then you have just players like this who are new that just don't have it in general. Here's the thing, man. Like, even block. Because if he has a regular block, then jockey with block and bruiser would actually be really sick. Because, guys, with defenders, I'm telling you, play style is a really, really big deal nowadays. There's certain defenders that, you know, they don't even have play styles yet, and they still play pretty well in game. Like, Gomez is pretty decent, but... There's a lot of times where, like, a rare gold Saliba does the job, right? Because, because listen... If I go to Saliba's card, right, and I go to his play styles, look at his play styles. Jockey with Anticipate Regular, right, and Power Header Normal as well. Because Power Header is cool if you get into those scenarios to, to, to score those opportunities. Because uh, obviously, 
even with his heading accuracy being on the lower side, if you have the play style and you're in the right position, then he can hit them. But his body type is like, it almost like makes him not jump as high as it probably could, you know? Because it's like a wide physical type of body type. You can clearly see it with the way that he kind of like jumps in game. So it's one of those SBCs where I agree with the like to dislike ratio. It's like one of those where it's like, hey, if you need the PSG links and you need, you need a decent center back, then go right ahead. But I don't know, man. I'm not, I'm not a fan of the direction EA goes with some of the center backs where they don't give them like some of the basic necessities, like a regular block would have been fine, you know, just for like certain areas of the pitch. Uh, does the car the card still defend well in game? The thing that you notice the most with Scriniar, and this is the case every single year, is the way that he uses his physical against the attackers when he's in the right position at the right time. Not when he gets outpaced, uh, because the way that he's formatted with his acceleration and sprint speed and his unique body type, it's a little bit like slower, right? But if you don't get outpaced and you position him properly and you use the physical part of the card, he's still going to be pretty decent for you in game, right? But it's just one of those SBCs where it's like, you know, it's a new version of the card. It's a new promo card. I think they could have de definitely done better with the play styles because I'm telling you guys, man, it's a really, really huge variable to work with nowadays. But listen, if you need the PSG links, the League One links, you need a player that gives you easy links with your club. That's the whole point of getting him, right? Um, that's why they price it the way that they do because of the easier links to work with in a squad. But you know the vibes. Uh, guys, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. There should be some pretty good videos today. We have a formation video. We have a nice concept video. And we also have a Road to Glory coming out too. So I'll see you guys then. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.